we are moving into the next important result of uh, finding variance of uh, sum of random variables. Next definition that is uh, let x 1 x n be a n random variables having finite variances then one can define variance of sum of random variables from i is equal to 1 to n let x 1 x 2 x n be a n random variables having a finite variances that means a first and second order moment exist and it is finite then we are defining the variance of sum of random variable that is going to be individual variance plus the double summation over uh, covariance between uh, any two random variables provided uh, i and j is not equal that is a uh, variance of sum of random variable is the variance of individual random variable with the summation plus uh, covariance of uh, any two distinct random variable that is going to be the variance of sum of random variable. This can be rewritten, this can be rewritten that is uh, summation of uh, i is equal to 1 to n variance of uh, each random variable since uh, using the result number 2 covariance of x comma y that is same as covariance of y comma x that means uh, <coughs> the second summation can be rewritten in the form of a uh, two times double summation covariance of uh, x i with x j now the condition is uh, instead of i is not equal to j i can write uh, i is uh, less than j because we have put the two times. So, both the statements are uh, one and the same. Here also we can go for uh, one special case. Suppose x size are uh, independent random variables independent when I say independent random variables that means they are mutually independent random variables. In that case, we can use the previous result that is uh, result number 5. When any two random variables are independent, then the covariance is going to be 0. Therefore, the second uh, the summation whole thing it would not come. Therefore, uh, variance of sum of uh, random variables is same as sum of uh, variance of uh, individual random variables when x i is are mutually independent random variables. Now, we will give the definition of a expected value of a random vector. We have already given the definition of a expected value of function of a random vector. Now, we are going to give the definition of a expected value of a random vector. Let x 1, x 2, x n be a n dimensional random variables. 
the expected value of let me denote uh, <coughs> this uh, random vector in the form of uh, capital X. Let me denote x 1, x 2, x n random vector with the notation capital X. So, I am going to define the expected value of the random vector capital X which is denoted by expectation of X is defined as it is defined as expectation of x is nothing but since x1 x2 x n are a vector the expected value of uh, x is also going to be a vector whose elements are expectation of x1 expectation of x2 and so on expectation of x n we are finding the expected value of a random vector. Therefore, that is also going to be a vector whose elements are expected value of individual random variables provided, provided the expectation of x size exist for i is equal to 1 to n. So, as long as a individual expectation exists, one can define expected value of a random vector with the elements is x 1, x 2, x n. In the same way, we are going to create a a matrix whose elements are uh, variance and the covariance between any two random variables. That is the next definition. The next definition is covariance uh, variance matrix. Let capital X, it is a random vector for the random variables x 1, x 2 and so on x n be a random vector either you can say random vector or n dimensional random variables or random vector with the n random variables such that the expectation of x i square that is a finite for the random variable 1, 2, so on till n. As long as the second order uh, moments exist, one can go for uh, one can go for defining a covariance variance matrix. Then the covariance variance matrix that is denoted by in the big summation notation of the random variable capital X that is defined as it is in the big summation notation it is a matrix whose elements are uh, <coughs> the first element is uh, variance of x 1 and the first row second element it is a covariance of x 1 and x 2 like that uh, so on. And the first row the last element that is a uh, covariance of uh, x 1 with x n. Now, coming to the second row. Second row is a covariance of x 2 with x 1. 
second row second element that is a diagonal element that is variance of x 2 like that you can keep writing the last element in the second row that is covariance of uh, x 2 with x n like that you can fill up the last row with the first column that is x n with the x 1 the last row second column that is covariance of x n with the x 2 so on the last row last element that is a diagonal element that is variance of x n. So, this matrix is n cross n order we are creating a covariance variance matrix for n dimensional random variable therefore, this matrix is always n cross n whose diagonal elements are covariance of individual random variables and the other elements are covariance of x i with x j for the ith row and jth column. By using the property of a covariance of x comma y is same as covariance of y comma x, you can conclude that this matrix is a symmetric matrix. All the diagonal elements are the variance that is nothing but a covariance of a x size with the x size therefore, it is becomes a variance of x size. So, this matrix has the very important property that is the matrix is positive semi definite that means uh, for uh, any a 1 comma a 2 and so on a n belonging to R n the vector suppose I denote uh, this as the vector a suppose I denote uh, this as a vector a whose elements are a 1 a 2 a n belonging to R n a vector multiplied by the matrix then a vector transpose this value is always going to be greater than or equal to 0 that is called uh, the matrix is a uh, positive semi definite the covariance variance matrix of uh, random vector is always uh, positive semi definite. We will give a one simple example how to compute the expected value of a random vector and covariance variance matrix. Example let capital X is the vector whose elements are x 1 comma x 2 be a random vector with joint probability density function is given by that means uh, both the random variable x 1 and x 2 are continuous type random variable therefore, we are defining the joint probability density function of x 1 comma x 2 that is 1 divided by x 1 when x 1 takes a value 0 to 1 whereas, x 2 takes the value 0 to x 1 0 otherwise. So, this is the joint probability density function of the random vector x 1 comma x 2. We can verify double integration of a joint probability density function 
has to be 1. Let us find expectation of x 1, then we will go for finding expectation of x 2, then we can go for finding expectation of x 1 square, then we can go for expectation of x 2 square, then we can go for expectation of uh, x 1, x 2. Then we can go for expected value of the vector x. We can find out what is the covariance variance matrix. Then we can go for verifying whether it satisfies a summation a transpose is greater than or equal to 0. The last one is the verify a times matrix a transpose is greater than or equal to 0. So, all those things you can do one by one. First start with the expectation of x 1. Expectation of x 1 you can find the probability density function of x 1 from the joint probability density function, then you can go for the expectation or you can use the first definition that is a expected value of function of a random vector. So, we are going to use that that is same as integration from 0 to 1, integration from uh, x 2 to 1 x 1, 1 divided by x 1 d x 1 d x 2. You see that the joint probability density function is 1 divided by x 1, where x 1 is range from 0 to 1, whereas uh, x 2 range uh, is uh, 0 to x 1. Therefore, expectation of x 1 is uh, double integration 0 to 1 x 2 to 1 x 1 times 1 divided by x 1. 1 divided by x 1 is a joint probability density function of x 1 x 2. If you do the simplification, you will get the answer 1 by 2. Similarly, you can go for finding expectation of x 2 that is a integration 0 to 1 0 to x 1, x 2 times the joint probability density function integration with respect to x 2 integration with respect to x 1. Again I am using the expected value of function of a random vector. This is same as 1 divided by 4. Similarly, we can go for expectation of x 1 square that is same as same method what I have done it for expectation of x 1 that is a integration 0 to 1 integration x 2 to 1 x 1 square the joint probability density function is 1 divided by x 1 d x 1 d x 2. or you can use the change of integration and uh, you can uh, change the order of integration still you can go for it and uh, you can get the answer that is uh, 1 by 3. Similarly, you can go for expectation of x 2 square that is again 0 to 1, 0 to x 1, x 2 square 1 divided by x 1 d x 2 d x 1. I am using the same definition again that is same as 1 divided by 9. So, till now we have got uh, expectation of x 1, expectation of x 2, expectation of x 1 square, expectation of x 2 square. Now, we will go for finding expectation of x 1 x 2. The same technique that is uh, expectation of x 1 x 2 that is same as 
integration 0 to 1, integration 0 to x 1, x 1, x 2 multiplied by the joint probability density function d x 2 d x 1. If you do the simplification, you will get the answer that is 1 by 6. So, now we are going for the next result that is expectation of a random vector that is a vector whose elements are expectation of x 1 comma expectation of x 2 this vector that is same as already we got the result expectation of x 1 is 1 by 2 expectation of x 2 is 1 by 4 therefore this vector is 1 by 2 comma 1 by 4. The next is finding the covariance variance matrix. Since we have only two random variables, it is going to be 2 cross 2 whose elements are variance of x 1, covariance of x 1 with x 2, covariance of x 2 with x 1 or x 1 with x 2 both are one and the same and variance of x 2 that is same as we got the expectation of uh, x 1 and uh, expectation of x 1 square. So, the variance is expectation of x 1 square minus expectation of uh, x 1 whole square. So, if you do the simplification you will get the answer 1 by 12. To find the covariance of x 1 x 2 you need uh, expectation of x 1 x 2 and expectation of x 1 and expectation of x 2. So, all 3 we got it. So, substitute the values that is 1 by 6 minus 1 by 2 into 1 by 4. So, you simplify you will get the answer that is 1 by 24. Since covariance of x 1 x 2 is 1 by 24 that is again a covariance of x 2 comma x 1 that is same as covariance of x 1 comma x 2 that is 1 divided by 24. Variance of x 2 is expectation of x 2 square minus expectation of x 2 the whole square. So, you do the simplification you will get 7 divided by 144. So, this is the covariance variance matrix for the random vector x 1 x 2. Now, we are going to verify whether uh, this covariance variance matrix uh, satisfies the condition A covariance variance matrix A transpose going to be greater than or equal to 0. Let us compute. Uh, so, here we will go for A with the two elements A 1 comma A 2 and the matrix transpose that is A 1 A 2. So, substitute the that is uh, a 1 comma a 2 and the matrix value is 1 by 12, 1 by 24, 1 by 24, 7 divided by 144 multiplied by a 1 a 2 transpose vector. Do the simplification, do the simplification first you will get a 1 by 12 a 1 square plus a 1 a 2 plus 1 by 4 a 2 square minus 1 by 4 a 2 square plus 7 by 12 a 2 square and this is same as 1 by 12 a 1 plus a 2 divided by 2 whole square plus 1 by 36 a 2 square which is greater than or equal to 0.
Therefore, we are concluding this particular covariance variance matrix also positive semi-definite.